California wildfires devastated the state last year, of course, but as Shannon reports, she was just out in California, remember, the state seems to be making it easier than ever to live in the danger areas as Californians start to look to rebuild. Sonoma County Sheriff's Office, this is a mandatory evacuation order. As wildfires whipped through his state late last year, causing death and destruction from wine country to Southern California, Democratic Governor Jerry Brown blamed climate change and President Trump. I don't think President Trump has a fear of the Lord, the fear of the wrath of God, which leads one to more humility. And this is such a reckless disregard for the truth and for the existential consequences that can be unleashed. The fires are out, but the debate over Governor Brown's response is far from extinguished. Cal Fire spent a record $700 million fighting the fires from July to January 2017. Yet Governor Brown suspended the annual fire prevention fee paid by people who live in fire-prone areas for the next 12 years in favor of a statewide cap-and-trade program that spreads the cost to state and federal taxpayers. State and local authorities are again issuing building permits for houses to be rebuilt near the combustible wilderness. And California's insurance commissioner wants more power to stop insurers from raising premiums or dropping homeowners in fire-prone areas, meaning people outside those areas may have to help pick up the tab. People should have the opportunity to choose where they want to live, but they shouldn't do it on the backs of others. They shouldn't be subsidized for those choices, and that's the struggle with insurance rates. Experts say there's a simple reason the state doesn't want to get in the way of rebuilding. New home construction provides a critical source of tax revenue. Those rebuilding are often attempting to build even larger homes simply because the uh, real estate market in California is so hot right now that it's a good investment for them. If that doesn't speak to a public policy problem, I don't know what does. Researchers say fires do tend to hit the same places over and over again. A Sonoma wine country fire in 1964 destroyed less than 100 homes. The Tubbs fire hit the same area last fall, burning more than 5,000 homes and killing 22 in an area taken over by sprawl. Indeed, despite the risks, a Santa Rosa subdivision that burnt down was exempt from fire regulations. In Washington, for Fox News at Night, I'm Shannon Breen.